Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, welcome to the next video in the series, the Application Gateway. And today we are going to configure uh, our lab on multi multiple site hosting. That is one of the feature uh, that we utilize very much when we use Application Gateway, right? Because if you have seen, uh, people do not usually have, uh, I'm not talking about the big enterprises, I'm talking about small and mid uh, level organizations. Uh, people usually have uh, multiple applications running on a single machine. Uh, just, I'm just giving you an idea uh, what multi-site hosting is. Multi-site hosting is hosting multiple uh, websites, and uh, using application gateway, we can divert the traffic. I mean, single application gateway, we can divert the traffic uh, uh, to the different websites. Let me say it again, rephrase it to make it uh, more comprehensive. Multiple site hosting enables you to configure more than one web application on the same port of an application gateway. So it's the functionality of the gateway. It is more like, because you know, application gateway has always have a single uh, uh, public IP address, if it's a public, a single IP address. Now let's suppose if there is, uh, if I could make little diagram just to make it more comprehensive. Let me try to do that. Okay, let's suppose uh, there is, uh, come on, there is my mouse. All right. There is this uh, application gateway. Okay, let me give it a name here application gateway. Right. And we do have a simple public IP here. And let's suppose we have multiple uh, applications running at the backend, web applications, right? Let me call it abc.com. And this one is uh, xyz.com. And this one is 123.com, okay? Now, what multi-site hosting will will uh, help us to do help us to accomplish it's like this if traffic is coming here let's suppose the traffic is abc.com so application gateway has the capability to send the traffic to this backend pool if traffic if traffic says xyz.com then gateway has the ability to send it to xyz.com backend pool. Similarly, 123.com backend pool. So with the help of single application gateway, we are hosting all these different sites. That's what we are going to accomplish with this lab. And what we need for this, very simple, the same setup that we are having from last couple of videos. One Debian server, one Ubuntu server, Debian is configured with Apache web server, Ubuntu is Nginx a web server, just to differentiate where the traffic is landing. And let's go to the application gateway and quickly configure uh, multi-site hosting. Let's click on add. Now we know all these information, this is like third or maybe fourth time I'm doing it in front of you. It's okay, let us go through this quickly. Gateway 01, uh, we have everything in UK South. Let me pick the UK South. We do not need auto scaling. We need one only, it's a demo. All right, we need to select the virtual network. It's always an isolated subnet for gateway front end it's the public ip go to the back end uh we need to choose the public ip for sure uh and then go to the back end we are not adding any back end we'll add it later you know because if you are following me my videos you know for sure why i'm not doing it uh it's because uh it will take a lot of time to create. And we already have another zero to create it. We will configure the backend here. Rest all the settings would remain same, all right? 
let me make it back in pool uh yes add so there's enough we have created the backend pool but there is no backend endpoint where the traffic can land okay now configuration now we we know already the front end is done the back end is done it's the ruling which makes uh, a lot of difference now it's it's actually the logic how it will uh work right so uh let's quickly go ahead and uh create uh, give the name to the rule now uh let me make it rule zero one oh, what i'm writing rule zero one give the name to the listener now this is a multi-site that means we need more than one listener if i go with the diagram if we uh, a listener will listen abc.com and it will send the traffic to this then another listener will listen on xyz.com and send the uh, traffic to xyz pool these will these will be the pool okay so let me minimize this and create uh, a listener let me make it uh, ubuntu listener so that will make the ubuntu server in the backend pool of or, or we'll call it ubuntu pool when we'll be creating it uh, later so front end ip would always remain the same let it be http but it's multi-site so what we're going to do we'll create www.ubuntu.com okay uh i know don't worry about it because this would we all, all, all be private. We will configure our host file with the public IP of this uh, application gateway uh, to uh, www.ubuntu.com. You don't want to mess up with the real or actual public website which are running. Our traffic will not go there. Okay, I'll show you. Uh, this is just to do our uh, practice. I'll hit the end uh so uh the backend pool we have created one let's let me hit this uh don't worry all these settings will change uh this is just to show you creating the http setting calling it http setting okay and add all right now we have uh one listener with this backend pool or let's create another backend pool. Let, let us call open to pool so that we can put our Ubuntu VM here. Okay. And click on add. This is the one rule. We need one more rule for the another server that we have. Uh, let's call it uh, Nginx. Yeah, let's call it Nginx. Let me call it 02 rule. Listener name Nginx listener http will define the same public ip multi-site let's do www.nginx.com add now again the backend pool we want to add one more pool we'll call it nginx pool okay we'll add the nginx uh, vm at the back end same http setting will work add okay now tag that's how that's how uh, the configuration of application gateway would be the whole magic is happening where on the listener uh let me come on whole magic is happening uh what i'm doing what i'm doing what i'm doing uh so whole <laughs> whole magic is happening here on the uh listener here on the listener side and on the rules the rules are configured and it's diverting the traffic on the pools okay so let me minimize this and click review and create sometimes i get a little excited and mess up just stay with me uh don't go stay with me i'll show you how this is happening and just hit on the create it will take a while uh, but i don't want you guys to sit with me wait for it so i have created uh i have one more application gateway let's go to that 
and I'll show you the settings. So that's how when you create from the scratch it is. And we can also create with, uh, you know, basic information and configure it later. We can do that as well, right? So let me click the application gateway. This one is uh, the already created one. This one is, uh, you can see under notification, this is right now creating. So let me click it. Now we know this, this, this backend pool. We, we created two pool, Ubuntu pool and Nginx pool. There is zero targets. Let me quickly go ahead and not delete it, but add the virtual machine. Let me add the Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Save. Let's quickly go to Nginx and uh, come up, Nginx. So what we did, we have added two VMs in their respected pools, backend pools, okay? Now, HTTP setting, the single one will work. This will take care. This is just sending traffic to the backend pools. Frontend, single public IP will work. That is the beauty on this. With the, with the, with the single public IP, we are sending traffic to multiple uh, web application, right? But listener, we need more than one. We need one for the Nginx. We need one for the Ubuntu. And both is connected to their respective rules. What are the rules? Rules are here, you can see multi-hosting rule that we have created, you can see right here, okay? This is the HTTP setting, this is the uh, backend pool, and this is the listener, that is the rule. So what rule says, whatever comes here on this listener, uh, if whatever comes on this listener, that means if you remember it was, uh, let me click add and I'll show you. Or rather, I'll click this and show you. Nginx listener, you'll see this. If somebody does www.nginx.com, it will come to the public IP address of the app gateway, right? And it will uh, realize it's talk. It, this this client wants to talk to the nginx.com. It will send the traffic to the backend pool, which is serving the Nginx. Hope this makes sense, right? Cool. Now we have added the backend pool. And also the most important thing is this. This is the public IP address of the dot 64 application gateway. Uh, come on, come here. Dot 64. So this public IP will resolve to this and this pub, uh, this resolve to this. If I'll type www.nginx.com on my browser, it will resolve to this public IP address and it will hit the application gateway, right? An application gateway accordingly send the information to the backend pool. So let me come here and put it here and enter. You see, it, traffic is going to the Nginx. Now, if I do www.ubuntu ubuntu.com this is going on apache so that's how we can host the multiple uh, sites at the back of the application gateway so it will it will save a lot of money for you of course and it would be a centralized management you can also uh, do the ssl offloading uh, and also you can utilize, but there is some, some uh, constraints. If you configure your uh, listeners as with the, with the wildcards. So it also uh, supports wildcards like star and then nginx.com uh, or something. So that all the traffic will go fall to the uh, that particular pool that you want it to be. So that's how we configure the multiple site. Uh, thank you. Thanks for watching and you have a good day. Bye-bye.